the dick writing continues, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be doing uh, another video where I just jerk off Jim Justice the entire video. Pretty much how this is going to go. We all know how this goes. I'm the biggest Jim Justice fanboy, and I think he's the best Republican to run in 2024. And no, I will not explain. Just kidding, I'm going to do that this entire video. So Jim Justice, if you don't know, was formerly a blue dog Democrat who won in West Virginia when Trump won the state by like 35 to 40 points. And he won as a Democrat before switching over to her as a Republican in mid to early 2018. Could be late 2017. I don't know. That, er that time in politics is a bit foggy for me. But, of course, he's passed a lot of moderate uh, legislation for being in West Virginia. He's also, well, he did pass one stupid thing, which was allowing raw milk to be sold and drank. Which, I don't know, is pretty funny considering a lot of the senators drank a lot of raw milk and get that sick. That was pretty funny. But And he also passed a lot of economically populist uh, legislation, including protecting West Virginia businesses, which is why West Virginia has one of the best economies in the country but it's never talked about because it's West Virginia. And he was really strong on COVID. He didn't really lock the state down. He did issue a mask mandate, but that was about it. Businesses really didn't close in West Virginia. Neither did schools. Also, the fact that West Virginia had the best COVID-19 vaccine rollout out of any other state in the country, and so on and so forth. So, Jim Justice probably does well with independent voters, he does well, extremely well with uh, suburban voters, your independent suburban voters, definitely not so much, uh, not so much Hispanics, but that's why we have Mike Garcia as his running mate, because I think he would have problems with Hispanics, um, yeah, geez. so we're just going to go through this list and just talk about it, Alaska, that should be safe, borderline likely, uh, again, it really depends on how, like, much Alaska, you know, trends to the right. Uh, well, I guess, like, there's no point in, like, it really depends on how Jim Justice runs his campaign. If he runs on his campaign that's, like, that is, like, shown off as very authoritarian, Alaska will be closer. But if Jim Justice runs, like, a campaign that's, like, I'll leave the people alone, government small, whatever, Alaska should uh, be go to the right by, like, a point or two. So it'll be on the edge. Um, Hawaii, that will be safe for Biden. The entirety of the West Coast will go safe for Joe Biden. Nevada, that's going to be the first flip. I think Jim Justice wins it by around a point or two. Uh, he'll outperform Joe Lombardo, especially with Mike Garcia on the ticket. He'll have Mike or Joe Lombardo's performances in the state by himself. But with Mike Garcia, that is just a addition of Hispanic voters to go into his column, which will probably push the state into lean Republican col in the lean Republican column. And Jim Justice probably wins Arizona, lean as well. Uh, he'll get Carrie Lake's margins easily, again, with Hispanics voters as well. Um, Jim Justice, if I'm not mistaken, fact check me if you want, is actually, like, won the Native American vote in West Virginia. There's not many Native Americans in West Virginia, so that vote's very small. But I'm pretty sure he still won over Native American voters in West Virginia. So there's a good chance that could carry over nationwide because Native, Amer Native Americans typically vote Democrat, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But I think just Justice would do well with the Native American population in northern Arizona. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, the Dakotas, all of Nebraska should go safe except the second district. That will go lean. He'll do very well with the independent, with the, uh, independent Republican voters here in the state. Um, absolutely would. Uh, the second district is essentially a Jim Justice district. Uh, Colorado, that should be safe. Jim Justice is pro weed, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he, which might help him, but even if he was, it really wouldn't do that much. So Biden probably still wins the state by 15 points or more. New Mexico, Garcia being on the ticket helps with Hispanic voters. However, I think Biden wins about like six or seven points because of. The performances on midterms where Michelle Lewin Grisham ended up winning like seven or eight points, uh, you know, despite running the hell. Weird, but sorry, I thought I heard something. It was weird. Okay, uh, Kansas, uh, I had it likely in my Trump video, but I think Justice would have win it by like 10 or 11 points. Oh, that's why. The, the wind, it's windy outside and it knocked something over. 
great. I'm about to clean that up. Oklahoma should be safe. Texas, uh, I think uh, Hispanic voters in the Rio Grande Valley would push the state to being safe, as well as like the rightward shift with suburban voters, or I guess independent voters would shift it to their right along with Hispanic voters. So that would you know help Jim Justice win it by around ten points, if not nine or eight. Uh, Texas would shift to the right in this case. Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri will be safe. Iowa will be safe. Justice wins that by 13 points or more. Easily gets Grassley's numbers. Minnesota, again, it's a very stagnant state. Biden probably wins it by 7 or 6. Wisconsin, I think Justice probably does well in the white working class counties as well as in the wild counties as well. It does very well in independent uh, with independent voters, probably carries uh, this tail right here, the county that I don't know the name of. Probably does well here, probably wins the state by around three points-ish, maybe two or three. Uh, Michigan, that probably does well, goes to Biden, mostly because of Wayne County and the heavy black population there. Jim Justice really doesn't have that great of a like African-American appeal or black appeal, because, you know, he's from West Virginia. Very white state. We don't have proof that Jim Justice is good with black voters. We don't have any of that proof. Um, we would get that information in like a Republican primary. It's like, oh, Jim Justice does well with black Republicans. You know, that's where we would get that information. But as of right now, I'd say Biden narrowly wins the state. Uh, Justice would probably win Kent County. He probably wins a lot of these suburban counties that uh, Tudor Dixon lost, but John James ended up winning in his uh, 2020 election run. Another flip would be Pennsylvania. I think, again, Western Pennsylvania would turn out very heavily for Jim Justice. He probably will do a bit better than Oz here in what suburban Philadelphia. Just a bit, not too much. If not, he'd break even, which should put the state in, tilt, in the tilt category just because of the improvements in Western, uh, West, West, uh, Western Pennsylvania, as well as breaking even, at least with Oz here in suburban Philadelphia. Ohio, that should be safe, um, unless Biden, unless the economy bounces back, then, you know, it'd be a lot more competitive, but as of right now, I'd say Ohio is around the same margin as Iowa, around 12 points. Indiana, that should go safe. Illinois, that's safe. Democrat. West Virginia, oh yeah, totally safe. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, all safe. Uh, Florida, that goes likely, again, Hispanic voters and uh, Cuban-American voters here in South Florida, heavily turn out for Jim Justice. Jim Justice's uh, economically populist policies will help him here in the panhandle as well. So he should win the state by at least five points. Georgia, maybe a hot take, maybe not. We'll figure it out. But I think it goes tilt Republican. Jim Justice has that Southern appeal. He'll be able to appeal to these suburban Atlanta voters that voted for Brian Kemp but voted against Herschel Walker because Jim Justice and Brian Kemp are very similar on social policies. Not so much economically. Justice is a lot more economically populist than Kemp, which only helps him in the state of Georgia. South Carolina, that should be safe as well. Probably 11 or 12 points. Same thing here in Kansas. North Carolina, I had another video I had this is likely, but it, I, right now I'm leaning he probably gets Ted Budd's margin, around three to four points in the state of North Carolina. Does very well with the military voters here in the state. Again, Appalachia does very well here. Rural voters, he's got that in the bag. Uh, like, he does really well. Again, what could hurt him is the black population here in northeastern North Carolina. That could hurt him, especially since, you know, Biden's the blackest white man. Nobody said that. I just made it up. But Virginia... This one could, like, this could either go safe or likely, because the state is trending to the left super fast because of Nova, but Jim Justice's servant appeal, which would help him here in Virginia Beach, um, as well as here in Loudoun County, even though he wouldn't win Loudoun County, it would really uh, make, could make the state competitive. I'm going to put it as safe, a Biden plus 10 or 11 point victory in Virginia, but if you want to put it as likely, D, you can go for it. Uh, most of the New England states, including New Jersey, again, like, I see this as an 11 to 12 point victory for Biden. I think Jim Justice does really well with the white working class down here in southern Jersey, but I think he'd bottom out, or not bottom out, but he'd probably do, he'd probably break even with Trump in northern Jersey, which 
you know, was a problem for Jack C. H. Rally, and it's probably going to be a problem for Jim Justice as well. Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New York, Maine's first will all go safe for Biden, and Maine's second district will go to Jim Justice. Jim Justice wins the selection, by the way, continuing to jerk him off. Um... I think I had New Hampshire going for justice last time I made this video, but I'm going to say Biden wins it by around two or three points. Maggie Hassan performed a lot better than what I had expected, especially with polling out there severely over uh, overestimating Republicans. But again, New Hampshire hates incumbents with a passion, but still, I think Biden probably wins it by around two or three. As saying New Hampshire like would vote against Biden because he's an incumbent, saying that New Hampshire went to Donald Trump in 2016 when it didn't. Uh, we probably see similar margins here in Maine. It really depends on how big of a margin it is in Maine's first district, but I think Justice probably wins the second district by 12, leading to like a four-point victory for Biden at, at Maine at large. So here is the final electoral map with a few changes margin-wise, and New Hampshire isn't safe anymore, isn't or doesn't go to Justice anymore. I think I had Michigan going for Jim Justice last time too. But anyway, I'm done jerking off the greatest governor in the country. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Catech One saying, peace.